can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation, a squared plus 2ab plus b equals 44, then the goal is to find the values of a and b that satisfies this equation, wherein a and b are both positive integers. Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this equation, a squared plus 2ab plus b equals 44, wherein a and b are both positive integers, then the goal is to find the value of a and b. So now, how to answer this kind of question? This is what we call a Diophantine equation because we only have one equation and we have two variables. This is solvable because a and b are both positive integers. Alright? Otherwise, if A and B are real numbers, then we have infinitely many solutions for this question. So, to answer this, first is we will focus on the left-hand side of our equation. Because the goal is to completely factor this expression. But the question is how do we factor this expression or the left-hand side of our equation? So now let's focus on this. And we will do the obvious one. Because we have a common factor of b in these two terms. So let's factor out b. Why not? So have a squared plus b multiplied by 2a plus 1 equals 44. Now, this will give us a clue that we can rewrite the other term as a factor of 2a plus 1. And the question is how to do that. So first, we have a squared and we, have, we need 2a. So what we're going to do is to multiply both sides by 2. So we have 2a squared plus 2b multiplied by 2a plus 1 equals 88. Now we have here 2a squared. If we have an a here, we can factor out a and we have 2a plus 1. So let's add a and subtract a. This is just 0. This is legal. And from here, focusing on these two terms, we cannot factor out a so we have a multiplied by 2a plus 1, then bring down negative a, 2b multiplied by 2a plus 1 equals 88. Now let's focus on this result. Now as you can see, we have two terms having a factor of 2a plus 1. So the only problem is this negative a. So let's rearrange some terms a little bit. So we need to get 2a plus 1 in this expression. So what we're going to do is to multiply again both sides by 2. So we now have 2a. So what we need is negative 1. So if we factor out negative 1, we get negative 1 times 2a plus 1. So that's very simple. Just subtract 1 and add 1. This is just 0. Now, how about subtract 1 on both sides to eliminate this positive 1? So we have here 176 minus 1 is 175. And focusing on these two terms, factor out negative 1, and we have negative of 2a plus 1. And there you have it. Let's focus on this result. We now have a common factor of 2a plus 1. So why not? Factor out 2a plus 1. So we have 2a plus 1 multiplied by 2a, the remaining term, 4b minus 1 equals 175. So we factor out this entire equation, this is very nice because if a and b are both positive integers, we can say that 2a plus 1 is definitely less than to this expression 2a plus 4b minus 1. And the only problem here is the factored, of, the factored form of 175. 175 is 25 times 7 or 5 squared times 7. So 175, we can say that this is equivalent to 1 times 175 or 5 times 35 or 7 times 25. In short, we only have three possible cases for this scenario. So first case, 2a plus 1 is equivalent to 1 and 2a plus 4b minus 1 equals 175 and so on and so forth. 2a plus 1 equals 5, 2a plus 1 equals 7 and the other is 35 and 25 respectively. So now we have three possible cases. Now at this point, let's solve for the values of a and b in these three cases. So for case number 1, 
2a plus 1 equals 1. Subtract 1 on both sides, divide by 2, we get that a equals 0. Now, since a is 0, 2a is also 0. 4b minus 1 equals 175. Add 1 on both sides, we have 176 divided by 4, b equals 44. On the second case, subtract 1 on both sides, divide by 2, we get a equals 2. And if a is 2, b equals 8. On the third case, a equals 3. And b, if a is 3, b equals 5. So now, we found 3 possible values of a and b. But take note, a and b here are both positive integers. And 0 is not a positive integer. So case 1 is eliminated because a plus b are both positive integers. So the only case left is case 2 and case number 3. So now let's check if this is correct. So case 2, a is 2 and b equals 8. So let's double check. Let's replace all a with 2 and all b with 8. So we have here 4 plus 32 plus 8. 4 plus 32 plus 8 simply equal to 44. And this is correct. Now how about the second case? Rather, the third case. Let's replace all a with 3 and all b with 5. So we have here 9 plus 30 plus 5. And 9 plus 30 plus 5 simply equivalent to 44. And this is also correct. Therefore, given that a and b are both positive integers, and this equation a squared plus 2ab plus b equals 44, then we found two different pairs for a and b. We have a equals 2 and b equals 8. And we have a equals 3 and b equals 5. And as always, we are done.